Hey guys, it's Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and here's Tristan. He is five months old and tomorrow we are taking an airplane to Florida and our family rented a house down there to stay in um, down in Delray Beach and uh, we're pretty excited but the house only has a pack and play and we don't own a pack and play. We own um, kind of a different size pack and play but uh, I think they have probably have a standard one. So I wanted to show you today how we're going to make an easy pack and play sheet because a lot of hotels have those um, those bigger pack and plays and if you don't own one it's kind of hard to know how, to, how big to make a sheet. If you own one of course you just take your own sheet. Um, and of course if you if you're smart you'll just order one and save yourself a little trouble. But um, I don't have time and uh, I should have ordered it a while back. Um, Yes, but we've been really busy and we've gone back and forth with uh, other travel plans as well. So um, I wanted to whip this up really quick and you are going to need some cotton fabric um, or you could probably use knit or flannel or fleece as well. Um, I am going to use cotton because I had a bunch of it that was actually just the right size so it's perfect. Okay, so this project is pretty easy. All we need to do is create a giant rectangle to start with. Now, we're going to need a few supplies. This is um, something I use just to draw, um, cut a straight line with my rotary cutter. Not necessary. If you want to use a rotary cutter, great, but otherwise you can just use your scissors. If you've never seen a rotary cutter before, this is one. Um, it allows you to just zip right up. Um, so it's pretty useful, but not necessary. Um, I also have a measuring tape. We need to measure out the correct size. And we're also going to need some elastic because the elastic is what will be holding the sheet on. We have two different ways we can install the elastic. We can either install it at the corners or we can install um, a casing all of the way all the way around and then add our elastic so that way it fits snug. Either way, the goal is to make sure this sheet fits snug because if it doesn't fit snug, it's not gonna be safe for the baby. Now, obviously, even a sheet that doesn't fit perfectly is probably still better than a loose blanket inside the pack and play but our goal is to make sure that it fits snug. Now one of the major brands for pack and plays is Graco and I did a quick search to see how big the pack and play sheets need to be. Um, the replacement sheets that Graco sells are 27 by 39 inches. So I am using those as my measurements and I'm hoping that the pack and play that they're providing us is about the same size. Um, so assuming we're working with a 27 by 39 inch mattress, we are going to cut our fabric to be slightly bigger than that. And the reason is, is we need a seam allowance added. So our total size for this is 28 by 40 inches. This is cutting it a little close. I'd probably add a little extra if I had a choice, but my fabric is actually um, exactly the right width or height. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah. So my fabric is actually 20 inches wide exactly. I don't even have to cut this direction. So 28 is what it's got to be. So I'm not cutting in this direction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure our 40 inches. So that I can cut the length off, and I think it might have been even the right length. It's sort of a sort of a nice little coincidence that I had a piece that was. Just, uh, okay, so normally we would sew a casing, which I've got videos on how to sew a casing, but you pretty much would um, you cut a square here, sew these together. So you have an edge and then all the way around you would just hem and you feed an elastic through and that is one way to do it and that actually works really well if you're going to be using sheets long term um, and it makes the um, it makes it fit really snug to the mattress which I like however when I looked for replacement sheets or sheets to buy um, I was noticing that some of the sheets you buy don't actually do that. Instead, what they do is they hem the edges. So they're hemming all the way around and then they're adding four elastics, one at each corner. 
so they fit like this. That way you're probably not using quite as much elastic, maybe. It's, it's a cheap way to do it, um, I think. I could be wrong. I mean, maybe in the overall scheme of things, the elastics. You know what, I wonder. Hmm. It really depends on where you put your elastic, but the idea with this is just that it would hold it on snug and um, hopefully you wouldn't use as much. Also, casings are kind of a pain in the butt because you do have to feed the elastic all the way through and around. So I will, I'm gonna do it like this. Um, I think it works better for the size that I have of fabric. So first I'm gonna go hem and I wanna hem it so that the fabric is exactly the right size for my back and lip play. So I added an extra inch to my size of my mattress, the theoretical size, assuming I got it. So that's an extra inch, but that's an inch on both sides. So really I've got a half inch seam allowance on each side. So what I want to do is make sure my hem is a half of inch wide. Okay, so I have two options here. I can use a cover stitch machine or I can use my sewing machine. Most people are going to have a sewing machine if you're looking at this. So if you have a sewing machine, you're going to turn it and you might even turn it just a little bit more. You want to make sure it's still the right size. But you turn it and then you just um, use a straight stitch. In, assuming you're using a cotton fabric. Now, <laughs> I have a cover stitch and it will save me some time. So I'm going to use that. In this case, I only need to turn it once and I'm just going to sew right along. They're, they sew a little bit faster. Okay, so the next step and the last step is that we need to add some elastic. So we're going to add elastic to each of the corners. Um, I want to add elastic across like this. Shh. So I could have I could have put it under the seam here, but um, this is a little bit faster. I didn't. Um, well. I probably should have put it under the seam, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna sew it on top with my sewing machine. Um, again, this is not something I really care too much about how it looks. I'm using scrap FOE, but you could certainly use elastic as well. I think a thicker elastic would probably be a little better. I'm, I'm actually gonna use a couple different colors. I've got some brown, they're obviously different sizes, but I wanted to um, make good use of my, uh, my scraps, so. Again, we've got some, some different colors at the week. Okay, just a quick look here. Um, we've got one corner, two corners, and um, three and four. So those should hopefully hold it on. Otherwise, it is just a flat piece of cotton. Very, very simple. 